But we're going to talk now to the Reverend Stu Campbell, editor of Wings Over Scotland, uh, because he suffered a similar fate uh, sometime before this. Um, but of course, it wasn't actually with Nat West, and it goes to show you that it's not just one bank that's doing this. Uh, Stu, a very good afternoon to you. Welcome to the show. Hi, Mike, how are you doing? Yeah, very well indeed. Thanks very much for, for, for coming on. I feel as if I know you because I've been sort of following your Twitter account for, for some years. And uh, I suppose it might be fair to say you've, you've had a few controversies over the years uh, with various yeah. people. You're, uh, you're quite outspoken about several things, including the SNP, which we might get on to, actually. But tell us your story uh, and what happened to you. Yeah, so I was just out having a, having a walk about a month ago. I popped into Saints Breeze to buy some milk. Got my card declined. Phoned up the bank. Bank said, "Oh, we don't, we don't know what this is about. Can you, can you check your app?" So I checked the app on my phone, and all of my accounts, my savings account, my credit card account, my um, my current account, they just vanished. Right. They, they just weren't there at all anymore. There was no message, no sign, um, no possible explanation. Mm. So I got back to the bank, and they went, mm, "Don't know." They put me on hold for an hour, and then they said, "Oh, sorry, the people that deal with this of they, they." They stop at five o'clock, so you'll have to wait till tomorrow. Right. So I had a I had an evening of kind of panicking that somebody had hacked my bank accounts right. and stolen them all. And then the bank just got back to me and said, "Oh no, we've we've decided to close your account, and we're not going to tell you why." And you see, that's the bit that I think people find the most incredible. That that you know, all right, if you want to take a decision about you know your your personal customers and you want to give them um, a short shrift and you want to say we don't want you anymore, surely they must be duty bound to tell you why. Well, you would hope so, but they were they were very adamant. They were quite blunt about it. They mm. said, there's just no way we're going to give you any explanation for this. There's nothing you can do about it. There's no way you can challenge it. It's just happening. Tough. Right. And this is was this HSBC? Uh, yeah, First Direct, which is uh, an HSBC yeah, yeah. Okay. operator. So, I mean, because the other qu question that people ask me, and I, I was watching Nigel Farage the other night, and he was saying... Um, that if he doesn't get an answer or a suitable answer out of Coots, he's going to turn up at Coots with a uh, with an armoured truck, and he's going to. I mean, obviously he's got a lot more money than, than we have. He's going to get an armoured truck. He's going to fill it up with the cash and drive off with it. Because the first question would always be, well, what happens to your money, and what did happen to your money? Yeah, well, I mean, the bank they they held it and they said, well, we can't. There's no way we can release this until you've got a new bank account with someone else. Um, so luckily, I managed to to do that. I sorted mm. out an account with another high street bank right. and uh, about a week later i managed to get it transferred but for yeah for a week i basically couldn't buy anything i had no cash cards yeah. and for most of us i mean yeah. you know that's the one thing that you've got your money in you don't most of us don't walk around with ones of cash anymore and if you can't get mm. cash suddenly you know you didn't know you needed it you don't have it it's as simple as that right yeah yeah i mean it's it's remarkable i went <laughs> the same day i managed to lock myself out of my flat <laughs> and i i walked into town to to get my to get my estate in the, the letting agent onto it yeah and he said oh yeah we'll come i'll come back in with the spare key but i'll be about 45 minutes right. so i said that's all right there's a pub across the road i'll i'll wait in there and right. i popped to the pub across the road and it was a pub that didn't take catch oh so yeah, i couldn't even have a pint that's awful isn't it and so i mean when you went to open another account did they ask you why you needed to open an account or were they quite sort of open but they were quite happy for you just to go yeah, i'm not going to tell you why uh, but i'm going to you know did, did you have to explain anything to them no, and uh, that's one of the weird things about it, because you would think if 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 I was on some kind of list for mm. people who, you know, politically questionable or in some reason, that would have applied at the new bank. Right. But it didn't. I, I had absolutely no trouble. I just I filled out an online application. They they approved it in minutes. Right. And then it was just a case of waiting to get all the cards and stuff. Yeah. So this was clearly... Because that's, that's the other question I've, I've always got, is that how does this affect somebody's credit rating? Because I, I had a problem a few years back where somebody basically somehow managed to get a second copy of a credit card on an account of mine. I had it delivered to my house and then took, nicked it out of the mailbox and started spending money on it. And I said to the bank, you know, if, if I'd asked for another credit card, you wouldn't have sent one to me. How has this happened? But it affected my credit rating because it was like a sort of, um, you know, somebody stealing your identity. So has your credit rating been affected by this bank closure? Um, I, well, I don't know yet. Um, I, haven't had, I mean, I don't imagine it would probably take a little bit of time to go through. I mean, mm. the main problem, main actual hassle for it for me is be all the the inconvenience because my accounts were shut down with no warning right. at all then i had to i had to find out what all the direct debits and whatnot right. that were coming out of my account and then manually kind of reinstate them mm. uh, yeah i've been three weeks of admin and paperwork still chasing all that down and getting all that sorted out yeah what um, yeah whether whether it'll have an effect on my credit rating or not i, I don't know that could be another yeah another and, I mean, 